So before we start building out our own web components and before we take a dive into Stencil.js, I first want to talk about what web components are. And if I go here to webcomponents.org, they also briefly explain what web components are. And web components are a set of web platform APIs that allow you to create new custom reusable encapsulated HTML tags to use in web pages and web apps. Now these custom components and widgets build on the web component standard and they will work across modern browsers. And they can also be used within any JavaScript library or a framework that works with HTML. Now you can also see um, the specifications. So web components uh, are based on custom elements. They are based on the shadow DOM. Uh, also, they use ES modules and they also need an, an HTML template. But we will go into detail about that later. Now, first of all, I want to show you an example of what uh, web components would look like. And if you take a look here, this custom message, as you can see on this code pen, this custom message is a web component. And it basically looks like just a regular HTML tag, but not a HTML tag like P or other HTML tags that you know, but this um, custom HTML tag that you as a developer gets to decide what the name of this tag will be. And you can see down here what this uh, web component will look like. You can also see that you can uh, style this uh, component. And in here you can see the source code on how this web component was built. And you can see that uh, the developer of this web component used vanilla JS to create a web component like this. And that takes me to the next part. So web components can be built with regular or with vanilla JS. That is no problem. And there are also many other frameworks that uh, let you build web components. Now I'm a little bit opinionated and I will use Stencil.js just because we've used Stencil.js at work before and I've also attended a hackathon three years ago where we had to use web components and I just got along with Stencil.js with their whole documentation and everything. I got along with Stencil.js better. But you can also use, of course, Polymer and other, I'm sure there are many more other frameworks out there that let you build web components. But in my case, we will just use Stencil.js. And if you go to their documentation, it looks clean, it looks modern. And uh, later on, we will see that if you're familiar with React, everything look very familiar. But we will get into that later on as well. You can see that Stencil Chess also uses lifecycle methods. Just and they kind of remind you of um, of those lifecycle methods that you already know from React. For example, component will render, uh, component will update, component did mount. Uh, just lifecycle methods like that. What I also like about Stencil.js is they are using JSX, so that as well is uh, it looks very familiar from when you're coming from React. They also use TypeScript, so um, everything will compile or transpile down to JavaScript, and um, you can even transpile it down to ES5 or to older uh, JavaScript. So if for some reason you still have to support IE11, then um, you will be all good if you're using TypeScript here. So now that you know the basics of uh, web components and Stencil.js, I would suggest that we would jump right into building our first project with Stencil.js. Mm -hmm. 